Welcome back everyone, I'm Jorgos and I'm Kat and we are Realistic DIYers. We're back again with our tools that we've purchased ourselves so we're here to do honest reviews, hopefully they help you along your way. Today we have Advanced Orbit 18, Advanced Orbit 18. It's a great tool actually, you know when it comes to Sundays pretty much they all do the same but this one has a few characteristics that make it different than others and we will go we will walk you through these um, in today's video let's get cracking with unboxing it so this is the box apparently uh, uh, the box doesn't have much in it it's well the sander itself and then what's more underneath you get one, one <laughs> One sander, one pad, one disc. Disc, yes, you get one disc, and then you got you get one attachment that helps you attach the, the disc. You will see it. Brilliant idea. It's a brilliant one. So let's talk about features first. Um, well, apparently it's an orbital sander, so it's not so different than the others. What what you can see here is the microfilter that it has. It's pretty easy to open and close. You just do this. So it has a little bit of dust. Used well. <laughs> it has been used quite well. So it will protect you, but you should always be wearing a mask when you use it. Um, it, it holds some of the sawdust, uh, but it doesn't hold everything. Uh, and it works even better if you're attaching it to, um, to a vacuum. Now, let's put this back. So for the vacuum, actually, this tube here, you can attach any of the Bosch's vacuums, like this one is coming from Advanced Vac 20 that we own. So you attach it here and it works much better. It's better to use it with a vacuum because as you move on, particles might build up under the pad. And therefore this, this is not the, the best way to use it. The more clear the pad is as you walk, the better. So if you use it with a vacuum, it's much better than without. And as you can see, right at the front, for support and guidance, you have a handle, which is fully adjustable. adjustable. Yeah, all the way down, watch your fingers, and then all the way back up, just to leave it down, just to show you the next feature. You've got your on and off, and then you have your speed. So it goes right up to six, and all the way down to one, depending on what you're working on. On and off, as I said, and you've got your fuel tank <laughs> icon, which is really handy when you've got a really vast um, spread and you have to keep check on, on your battery. Um, the batteries are something yep. to note, aren't they? So the batteries, um, you know, you have the, the, um, the ones with lower capacity from 1.5 amps to 2.5 amps. And then you have the bigger ones, the 3 amps, 4 amps, 6 amps and so on. So in terms of power, they all have provide the same power. It's just the time that you run mm -hmm. that changes as you go up. Now, they all fit as well, the 2.5, the smaller version, but also the chunky ones, they just fit perfectly underneath. Oops. That's normally you myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, quite easy to use, no problems. Um, speaking of the speed. speed cut that you were mentioning earlier, the lower the grid, the lower you go, the higher the grid, the higher you go. This sander can also be used with different attachments, which means that you can put uh, a wool, woolen yes. attachment to polish your car. Yep. We haven't done it, but once we did, we will show yeah. you how we did it. Um, moving on with this small thing here. Bosch's brilliant idea. How many times have you tried to align these holes? Especially at speed. You've got to get those holes aligned. Bosch is brilliant idea. Let me put that down for a moment. Two little feet. Two little holes. Look at that. Super duper. Two little holes. Two little holes. Good to go. Yep. Fantastic idea. Yep. Great. Works yep. great. Uh, but what works even better is the new technology kind of um, parts that exist. Like this one which is... Um, from 3M called Extract with Cubitron technology. Um, well, it's actually a mesh, which means <laughs> that if you, if you use it with a vacuum, it extracts all the sawdust 
that's one and it also works fast. Bosch has a similar mesh but not with these lines here. It's the mesh. Um, you can get it. We'll leave a, a link down below with this and the ones we're using here and the ones with the mesh from Bosch. Right, let's put it into tests. So we have a, a, our coffee table with sucks. <laughs> we have been using it for quite some time now and we're going to get to it finally. It's been on the to-do list and now we're ready. We're ready and we're going to compare this as well with the Nana Sander, which you're going to watch in our next video, link in the description below or here or there, where we're going to show you how we use it, but we're going to also compare the two. So, want to go and Let's go. try it? Always conscious of safety. Mask, eyewear, ear defenders, gloves. Don't forget those gloves. We start here with the regular sanding disc, 80 grit, and actually we're not attaching the vacuum. Keep watching, you'll see why. Oops, ha <laughs> ha, real life, change the battery. Opt for a bigger one. <laughs> you see how quick that was? Quick and easy, detach, attach, off you go. Not too fast, not too slow. We are using the machine at a speed of about four out of six. Notice how Yoris is using circular movements, but no pressure. The weight of the machine will do that for you. Now you'll see the consequence of not attaching the vacuum. So luckily we are outside. We're going to blow away the debris. However, the filter attached did still capture a lot. You'll see here. Moving on, now we're going to be sanding with a net, the same 80 grit. However, using the net, you will need an attachment called a pad saver to act as a layer of protection. Why? Well, as we discuss in the review, the makeup of the net is actually see-through. So this will expose the machine's base. You'll find it cheaper to replace a pad saver than the built-in base of the machine itself. Here's a fantastic tip, listen out. If there is a need to stop at any point right in the middle of sanding, um, once you've lifted it off, make sure you do not make contact again with the machine active. Stop the machine, place it on the surface and turn it on again. So this time attaching the vacuum, you really do need it actually for the net disc pad because there aren't the holes to pass the debris and extract it away from your work surface. What you need to be careful with is that there's not a buildup in the net of debris that could damage the surface that you're working on. Notice how clean the disc is. No unnecessary debris hanging around. So as you can see on our videos, it also did have low vibration, which is very comfortable when you're working for long periods of time. So very comfortable to hold. All in all, gets our vote. Yeah, it's a great sander that you can use anywhere in your house. You want to, to um, redecorate your furniture or you want to redecorate your, your staircase. You use an orbital sander for, you know, the big surfaces. Yep. And then you use the mouse sander for the edges. Now we could also say how to use it, but instead of us saying you how to use it, we're going to give you a link in the description below so that you can see how an expert um, describes how we should use it properly, how, how fast and how slow, and how to use the speed. Right, so uh, Kratos, we definitely recommend so that was a quick review, but as always, like, subscribe and bell all if these are the insights that are helping you along your DIY journey. See, See you in the next one. one.